just had a few walks, but found a way to get through four. He's on a strict pitch limit coming off surgery a couple years ago, so he's in the 70s, so he got to that limit. Castillo did a really nice job for two, and then unfortunately he walked the guy one out there in his last inning of work in the seventh, and they're going to find a way to score, and it did. And then unfortunately, Savanka got hit. You know, they, it wasn't, it was a walk in there, but still it was like three hits, and they put up a crooked number. And, the way this series has gone, three runs is a huge inning. Obviously, I mean, it just hadn't been the, I think that's the biggest inning in the four days for either club. We had a couple of chances, first and third, in the middle innings there early, and then in the middle inning, we only got one out of it, and then nice still got another one, and, you know, we had an opportunity with motors lead off double, unfortunately, we couldn't get the bunt down, and then we might have got a sack fly, but we just, you know, one run's not gonna win a lot of games, but I've been really happy. Our players fought back again, uh, Played really good defense again, and the brightest, star, the brightest part of the game for me was Silva. He had a tremendous ball game. You know, a hustling double, hit three balls hard. Unfortunately, one was at the right fielder, which had been huge. At that time in the game, if it hadn't been right at him, it's a double and second, third, nobody out situation. But he came to play yesterday, and he came to play today. He's playing at a higher level, so that's one of the brightest spots. And even though we're one and three in this series, Ruby Silva's been a really bright spot for us. Sets up base running on the base. Well, that's what I mean. He's aggressive, and, and that's two leg doubles he's had in a couple of days. And then, you know, at the score of the game, it wasn't important, but that's the way you want to play. Hey, it's a long throw. Let me go second to third. So he's doing a lot of things right. Hopefully, we can get some more guys on the upswing like he's going right now. And we're going to start winning some games. And looks like Boo and Ha, the last I heard, are probably going to join us. If no setbacks the next couple of days, will join us. And, Chattanooga to start the second half, so that's going to help out the offense, too. It seems like you guys are getting a lot of hits, just not a lot of hits with runners on base. Well, we get first and third, or second and third, and it just doesn't develop double play. When we, you know, we hit double play ball, or either it's a strikeout, it seems. So it's one of those things. But things like that in baseball are funny because it doesn't happen, doesn't happen, and then one or two guys get it going. Next thing you know, other guys get it going, and then it's contagious. That, it's not fun losing these kind of games, but at the same time, it's a great evaluator. I think it's a t teaching tool for staff members. Why aren't you having success? And these are the adjustments you need to make to have success. And at the same time, that's the barometer you use. Who's ready for the next level? Not because this situation is when it's money time. Anybody can hit in a game that you're up 10 nothing, or pitchers can pitch in a game when it's a 10 nothing game. It's a lot easier. But when it's money time, it's great for development in that aspect, and on the other end, it's a great evaluator.